Tonight, Japan is on alert after a powerful 7.5 magnitude earthquake rocked the country New Year's Day, triggering fears of tsunamis along several countries' coasts. Here in California, we are certainly no strangers to earthquakes' deadly and devastating effects. I caught up with a well-known structural engineer from West Sacramento who specializes in earthquakes and is in Japan right now as we speak. He says there are a lot of lessons our state can learn from Japan's earthquake preparedness. It's a really special day for Japanese, actually. It's a really unfortunate event. As families gathered for the New Year holiday, a 7.5 magnitude earthquake hit the Noto Peninsula along the Sea of Japan. Described as a beautiful and rural area, the concern tonight is for people trapped and fires in wooden buildings. The fire of the earthquake is a big deal and burned down about 200 uh, buildings and houses in the area. This video taken inside a convenience store in Nagano shows items on shelves shaking violently. Customers inside rushing out to safety. Panic and chaos as customers run for cover. At least a dozen people have died. Now the race to rescue survivors is underway, but it could have been much worse. Japan is really prepared for this kind of thing. I caught up with world-renowned earthquake expert and structural engineer Kit Miyamoto from West Sacramento. He's in Japan right now. He happened to be there on a business trip to Tokyo when the earthquake hit. Not only just government is prepared, but also individual is prepared. For example, everybody has two weeks of supplyable food and water and the clothes and all the stuff. So they can go without any kind of support for a couple weeks, or even three weeks. Miyamoto says compared to California, where our last major quake happened nearly three decades ago, people in Japan deal with massive quakes every five years or so. This is something we can learn a lot in California, especially at the tsunami warning system. It's a really critical piece. And also the uh, uh, education, communication of how to evacuate people quickly. And also fire after earthquake. This is something we saw here, we're going to see in California. It's a bittersweet reality. To hear thankfully preparedness possibly helped avoid a larger disaster in Japan, though still devastating and destructive, while pointing out the flaws in our own disaster readiness. For example, Miyamoto says Japan has automatic gas shutoff when disaster strikes, a critical piece we don't have in California. Actually, fire off the earthquake in California, it's a big deal. And uh, especially like a windy day in LA Basin, I mean, estimate to be something around the 1,000 or more simultaneous ignition after one hour without any major wind.